Yo, what's up guys, Lambo here with my first YouTube video ever and it's gonna be about how to defend 1312s properly it was my sub goal on my stream and I finally reached 50 subs so thanks everyone for the support and yep, basically I'm gonna show you uh, 6 different replays of 1312s against Zanster Zanster was so nice to help me with it yesterday and play quite a couple of games against me with just playing 1312, throwing 1312s at me and yeah, let's, let's get right into it. There is four pretty common 1312s, uh, two of which have uh, Zerglings before the Queen, so you make Zerglings before you start the Queen as soon as your pool finishes and you just try to cancel your opponent's natural, try to get good trades AS ASAP and expand behind it. And the other two are with uh, hidden Zerglings, where you hide your first couple of Zerglings, you run around the Overlord so your opponent can't see it until they, they see your natural, basically, or until you show that you're Zerglings and where you make the queen right as your pool finishes. So the first variation I'm gonna show you is gonna be uh, Zanser playing 13-12 with the hidden Zerglings where you only get speed and his aim is gonna be to cancel my natural and I'm gonna try to don't let him do that. Also note that most of these replays are gonna be on Abyssal Reef because Abyssal Reef has the shortest rush distance in this in this map pool besides Defender's Landing. Um, but on Defender's Landing you, you, you can't defend early pools with the hatch first because you have to go pool first. So either you veto this map or you just play pool first. Or you just gamble on your opponent not doing uh, any kind of early pools. I'm just gonna play hatch first by the way in all of these games. Hatch gas pool which is the absolute standard opening. It's gonna be 17 hatch. Then I make two more drones rally the first drone to the gas, the second one I'm gonna make the pool with. My overlord movement is pretty basic, I'm gonna send the first overlord over here. The second one is gonna scout on this side of the map for circling land buys. Um, yeah, you can also send it over here, but it, it's basically just one option if you're lucky. If you get lucky, you're gonna see the zerglings, but I wouldn't rely on it. Also one thing is I'm gonna always, if I don't see anything, I'm always making six Zerglings. This is just to be safe, like six, six, six blind Zerglings after I'm always gonna drone again. Like I'm just playing as if I would play a standard macro game. Um, but I always make six Zerglings. You would say those are not very efficient if you wanna play a macro game, but the thing is I, I'm taking a pretty early third if my opponent was playing a macro game too. And with those six Zerglings, I can force him to make six Zerglings himself if he wants to take a third base. So it ends up being pretty even, like it's, it's it's not that bad by any means. Also, I leave three drones in gas to make a baiting nest uh, as early as possible and unless I see his natural. If I would see that he went touch first, I would pull one drone out of gas, If in case you're wondering. So now I see, I actually see his second overlord. This second overlord, if you compare it to mine, it's way, it's way later. So I make the spine already, but I make it now anyways, because I see his hatchery is so late. He, he sh honestly, he shouldn't have sent his second over here. He should have sent it like this, so I can't see it, but he did. But I also see his uh, hatchery timing. This is too late to be a uh, pool first expand. It's obviously not a hatch first if you compare it with my hatch. It's even too late to be 12 pool expand, but 12 pool we would have seen by now. So there's only one option. And if he would play a Link Bane on it wouldn't be this early. So we already know it's gonna be hidden, hidden uh, Zerglings and a Speed Link 13, 12. Here, here we see the Zerglings and coming. My response is gonna be one spine in the main base and I'm gonna pull it down around uh, around 10 drones. You really wanna defend this, this queen from spawning. So you wanna pull the drones in time before this queen spawns. His goal is to kind of surround the queen as soon as it spawns. So we wanna deny him from doing that. In order to do that though, we give up ramp control. So he could just walk up the ramp. By the way, we, you, you can't, with if you play against this bit, you can't lose like around, you can lose maybe two or three rounds with this response, or maybe even four or five, but you can't lose more than that because his, his hatch is soon to finish and he's just mining minerals, so he has a lot of minerals to just drone up behind it. So yeah, we lose, what happened here is we lose ramp control, but these drones are safe and continue to mine, the queen is safe. The pool positioning comes in place, it's one building grid to the left. Um, you should always do it like that so the queen has a good position to go into and block the Zerglings from entering or leaving the, the mineral line. If I would have spawned on the bottom, I would have put the pool like Anton did here. 
because it's closer to the larva. You always want to take the gas that's closer to your larva. So he takes this gas, I take this gas. And yeah, that's what the spine is for. As soon as those zerglings enter my main base, the spine is going to be done soon. I chase him with my zerglings. Taking this fight, I would have. If he took the fight against my zerglings, I would have pulled all my drones from the main base to win the fight. Now my spine finishes here, and he can't really do anything here anymore without taking bad, really bad trades. Here I kind of make a pretty big mistake at not watching my zerglings because I was chasing down forward links here for a bit. So he lures out some zerglings. I'm taking one bad trade here, but it's not the end of the world. And he gets those basically for free, but um, he he can't trade. He can't trade. So he has two options. Like either he goes back into my main base, tries to snipe some drones. He probably wouldn't kill that much, and most most of the time his links are gonna be trapped. If I'm smart, I can either pull four links here on the ramp, or I just leave most of my links here. And my speed is about to finish also, so he's gonna try to get some drones in the natural. He has more zerglings than me here, but with the 10 drones he can he can never win a fight. Always try to fight in the mineral line so you can do things like that with drone drill. And now my speed finishes too and he can't really fight me anymore. And let's compare the spots now. This is the end of the 13-12 response. Now it goes into a, in, into a macro game. Um, I'm, I have 6 more drones. I have 2 queens with a 3rd finishing soon. This is the 2nd queen finishing soon. I already mined a bit of gas, so I can go into Baning Nest without a problem. I have one spine, so I'm very safe. And overall, I'm just in a very comfortable position to go into macro game with. From here on out, you can... You, sh you should always scout with two Zerglings if he is doing a Baning follow-up or not. But besides that, you can really do anything. You can move the spine down. You can go make a wall here and go into a quick Roach plus one timing, for example. You can also just make a Baning Nest and take a third hatch, which I think is what I did here this game. But the follow-up is not really interesting to me. In this video, I, I will only cover the, the basic defense of the 13-12 builds. So yeah, that's the first one. Just a quick summary. Pull, pull positioning should always be like this. Then, as soon as I see the hatch timing, I know what's up. I make one spine in the main. I pull 10, ten drones down. I stop mining gas. I want to be at my natural with the drones and the links before the queen spawns, so I can defend the queen. And then you basically just always try to fight in your mineral line. So your drones can get some good surface area on the on the zerglings and he can't kill you. Oh yeah, that's the first that's the first video. That's with him hiding the links, with making a queen right as the pool finishes. I kinda have them in a different order here, but I would like to make the the um, hidden links the other hidden link 1312 next because it would make more sense. Um, he just did the 1312s, by the way, on the whistle without telling me which one he was going to do, so that's why I, I, that's why the order is different than what I'm showing right now, than I numbered them, you know? Okay, so I spawn here. I spawn in the top again. It's going to be the same start. I'm just going to play Hatch Gas Pool again. I send the Overlords the same direction too. Again, I'm going to send this Overlord right here, this straight to the natural Hatch Gas Pool. Actually, this this should be this should be one grid up more to the top. Even though it kind of looks like it, it denies a bit of uh, mining time from the gas, it, it doesn't. So you just put it one building grid more up. It's a small mistake. It won't really matter in this specific case, though. You'll see why in a bit. So making the, the six. I'm also droning. Like but so far, I don't see anything yet. Now I see that there's no hatchery yet. This is already. I would see the hatchery here. So. I continue mining with three three drones. I get the spine here. It should be also a bit further to the right, but it, you can see it's in line of the ramp, which is important. Uh, in, in. I don't want to fight with those zerglings. I keep them at the low ground because I want. So the main objective here is to. He wants to kill us. He doesn't have a natural. He's on thirteen drones. He needs to kill us. We can sacrifice his natural. All we need to do is to buy time, for our baning nest and for our spine crawler to finish. So. We want to get both queens on the ramp because that's the easiest way to buy time. So Queen that's what we're gonna do. That's successful. also what these zerglings are here for on the low ground. They're here to escort our queen ready. to the to the ramp. And our queen just moves there. Notice I injected with the queen in the main base. I didn't inject with this one because I want I want to leave this a bit further to the top. So only two links at a time can attack this queen and Sometimes if they try to kill the hatchery first, you can get one transfuse up on the screen. So 
Okay, he's gonna try to break through. Our spine is already done. If we went for the queens right away, um, the spine would have also been done. It's a bit. It, it really should have been here instead of here, but it doesn't make a bit. Doesn't make that big of a difference. Trying to detonate one bailing here by mistake. Make the bailings as soon as your bailing is done. That's very important. I barely didn't get a transfuse here. You can morph two banes here to to block this too. He kind of wasted some more banes here, but yeah, two banes are not uh, not that big of a deal to deal with. And now, yeah, he has no banes left. He only has this these couple of zerglings. All you need to do is either split your drones if there's still some banings left, or in this case, focus down his banings. In time, those are only a couple of zerglings, so they're not too scary. And yeah, that's that that is a defense. He he's he is gonna kill this hatch, but we're we're mining more. Like we have the we have more drones right now. We have more drones and we mine more than him. So even though we traded rather poorly, we're still gonna lose this hatch by the way too. So actually he traded poorly, but <laughs> um, it's gonna be good for us. Is what I want to say because we can just re-expand. We also have our own speed. We have our own painting nest. One thing you can also do on maps where the spine doesn't reach this is you you put the spine here. And you just pull away the drones towards where the banings aren't. And uh, so, for example, if he would get two two banes here and two banes here, I would try to blow up two banes with two banes here. The spine would be here, and I would move all the drones to the top. Otherwise, you can also just split up your drones. Your main objective is to not lose any drones here in the defense. Also, note that on Abyssal, you you can see this build relatively early, so I only make two extra drones. Um, but on Odyssey, the rush distance is still decently, like it's it's four to five seconds later uh, that the build arrives, but um, you don't see the natural of your opponent at all. So uh, there's a, a bit of a different response there that I'm going to show you guys later. But yeah, this is this is the response to this. I'm just going to re-expand and I'm a bit ahead here. So that's the second one. That is also a build where he hides his first couple of zerglings. He makes a queen as soon as his pool finishes. So those are those two 1312s. The next, the next two or three that I'm going to show you are going to be the ones where your opponent just tries to, to kill your natural and tries to trade well, where they make six uh, circlings right as their pool finishes and they delay their queen a bit. This is the, the most common one, by the way, on high level. This is the one where they make links before queens, they make a baiting nest and then they expand behind it. Uh, Smooth plays it quite a bit, even Nurture did it, even Serial did it on ladder quite a bit. And yeah, this time we spawn on the bottom. Hatch first, as always. Gas here and the pool, pool positioning here. As you can see, the queen would block Zergings from entering here. Okay, now, by the way, I forgot to make this overlord. Usually, I this overlord is made by now. Uh, the way I can tell it on a whistle that it's 13, 12 and not 12 pool, like these zerglings, 12 pool is always six, 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 seven seconds earlier than 13, 12 zerglings. And they always send their zerglings straight because they want to get as much damage as possible on the hatchery to put more pressure on you trying to defend it. So they, they, they will always send, your, send the Zerglings straight towards your base, so you will always see the Zerglings too. Um, the thing is, usually your Overlord is made by now, but if you make your Overlord right as, as this larva goes up, you see the Zerglings right after. And if it's a 12 pool, you see the Zerglings before you make this Overlord. Against a, a, Zerg, against a 12 pool, you don't want to make the Overlord. If that's not as safe of, of a tell, I can just tell you the timings that the Zerglings arrive at your natural. At a 12 pool on Abyssal, the the timing would be 155 for a 12 pool, and the links arrive at like two minutes and one second or two minutes and two seconds with this build, the 1312. That's on Abyssal. On the other maps, just for comparison, on Odyssey it would be four seconds later each, so 159 and 206. On Ascension to Area it would be two minutes and 207. On, on Sequencer also two minutes and 207. So that's also why I played on Abyssal because this build gets a lot more powerful because it's like five seconds earlier than on the other maps. Okay, my response here is, for fairness sakes, I still made this overlord, I just forgot it. Um, you don't make any drones after this. You start making two zerglings in your main base, 
Hive cluster under direct I pull out of gas after 100. I, I, I wait a bit. I waited a bit with this larva for one or two seconds to make this so he can't sur so he can't surround the egg. Usually what they can do is they can surround the egg and then you have to cancel it or you're gonna lose the zerglings right away after they pop or at least one that just gets surrounded. So I can actually join up with as soon as those two zerglings are down there or two pair of zerglings are down there, this will pop and I can fight with six zerglings and three drones. You want to poke a bit with these these drones, like they don't do anything anymore anyways, because they already did their job of mining 100 gas. You're trying to get your zerglings to follow your drones for a bit, so they get less damage on the hatchery. Now I just attack the zerglings. I make one spine. This is A, for a good position for the queen to be in. And B, just for him to, to waste a lot of time on... Uh, on, 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 the, on the spine crawler because it's going to be quite some health. Also chase those zerglings. It looks like it's 8 zerglings against 4 zerglings and 2 drones. But if you kill any of his zerglings, it's always a good trade. Because with this build, his queen is so late that... You see his queen spawned here. And... Wait. Okay, no, his, his inject just popped. But his first inject is super late. Like, there's no way his first inject of reinforcements will be here by now. So all you want to do is trade, even though this looks bad, it's completely fine. I killed two, two zerglings, all he has now here is, uh, how many is it, seven zerglings and two ba two bailings. He morphed one of his low HP zerglings to a bailing. I see his hatchery timing, by the way. The other the other 13, 12, if links before queens is speedling only, his hatchery would be down by now. It would be like orange, orange HP, that's, that's, that's how I could tell. So yeah, all I want is Zergling versus Zergling traits. Now that the two Bailing spawn, I want to fight always with two two or three Zerglings at a time. Try to defend your hatchery. Come down with this Queen as soon as possible too. And yeah, you see this is quite a good positioning for the Queen. I still have one Zergling here against the Bane. And yeah, since he made the Zerglings before the Queen, his reinforcements are just not there early enough. So my reinforcements just end up clearing his Zerglings up and the Spine finishes and we're safe. Our speed, is, our speed is not done yet, but there's not much he can do. Um, let's compare the situations now. We're at, even on workers, he has a Bane as I don't. However, I have a second queen on the way. I have a spine here, so I'm completely safe. And I have six drones on the way. I, I can't afford those because I mined a lot more than him all this time. So let's just go a bit further and then we can see how far we really are ahead. Let him finish his drones too. Okay, so now our second queen is almost done. Our speed is going to be done. We're pretty far ahead in drones and his hatch is not even done yet. So yeah, this is the defense against uh, one of the most used on high level 1312s with just pulling three drones. You really need to, after pulling the three drones, you need to look out for um, how many zerglings are there. If there's nine and 10 zerglings coming up, it's most of the time it's the speedling one, but you can already also see just by the hatch timing. <coughs> so yeah. Uh, the, the main thing that most people do wrong is they, they go back with those Zerglings and Drones here. But as soon as he has Zerglings and Banings, those will trade even worse. Like your Zerglings get completely useless. Because he can trade easily against one or two Zerglings with his entire speed link flat. But if you send more at a time, his Banings will gain too much value. So you want to trade and you want to waste waste his time so you can get the spine up behind it. So that's the next 13 and 12 defense. And the next one is gonna be, it's gonna look the same at the start, but this time he's not gonna morph his uh, his his fifth pair of zerglings into banings, but instead his sixth pair of zerglings, and he's gonna go full all in. What if he uses this first and second inject not to make drones but to make zerglings? Is usually what people ask me after I show them this defense, and the answer is quite simple. It's even easier to like it's. It's even easier to be ahead against this because the inject arrives so late that it's pretty irrelevant. All you need to get is the spine crawler up and then continue to make queens and then not trade ex like absolutely terrible. So this one I'm just gonna gonna look at pretty briefly because it's basically the same defense. This time we're seeing it a bit better. I'm gonna make the overlord in time, I think. So here is the overlord and now I see the zerglings. Zerglings arrive at 2 minutes and 1 or 2 seconds, that's 13 12 for sure. I pull the 3 drones out of gas. Good. His, his Zerglings followed me for a bit. 
I can see that this time it's 10 Zerglings joining up, but I see also that there's no hatchery. If it was 10 Zerglings joining up and there was a hatchery, which is the next thing I'm going to show you, I would pull more drones. But since I see there is no hatchery, I just want to fight the Zerglings again to buy some time. Fight Zerglings against Zerglings. I got some Zerglings. I even saved this drone and make, made us fine. So yeah, this was this was a pretty good fight for me, all things considered. See, now he takes a trade with Baning. It's not a big deal, though. The two queens, I can honestly keep them on the ramp. I see he doesn't have a natural, so... I could sacrifice my natural, just in theory, but I kind of don't want to. You can also bl block on this, this uh, ramp here. And now just focus fairy the Banings down. And as, as, as soon as he doesn't have Banings anymore, he, like... Um, you're you're kind of safe. He can't do anything against the spine because he can't zone out your zerglings. And at this point, my queens are just respawning. I would just make constant constant queen production, and he can't do anything anymore. Focus very on the one one bane. It can't get close to anything. And that's the all-in version where he stays on 13 drones and it's deflected. Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> the next one is gonna be the same, but this time without banelings. So he makes. It's not this one, it's gonna be this one. Um, where he's gonna make uh, speed links only, so no so no bailing nest. He's gonna pull out of gas after after 100, and this time he also just wants to cancel my hatchery, and then he would be ahead because his own hatchery is gonna be pretty early. So the same things as always. I hope it doesn't lag too much in the, in the actual video if I put it times eight. I see, I see the Zerglings again after the Overlord. Make sure, wait, I'm gonna show this a bit more specifically to, to see that I'm delaying the, the Larva on the low ground. Okay, I'm making two Zerglings here. Hive cluster under direct okay, now, now see, I don't make this Zergling right away. I wait around two, two seconds is what you need to wait. So that these Zerglings, as they get down there, as they arrive here, this pair of Zerglings will spawn into will have you will be able to fight with six Zerglings right away. Okay, he, he doesn't fall for my drone trick, so he, he gets quite a bit of damage on here. Okay, now I have six Zerglings. He has ten Zerglings, but this would not be the best fight. I see that his hatch is here. As soon as I saw his hatch timing, I pulled more drones. I pulled around six more drones, so I would have... like, It's, it's basically the same as the first replay I showed you. You want to have nine to ten drones at, at the low ground. This spine is to buy, buy a bit of time. In this case, you don't have a spine on the high ground, though. So, oops. What I want to do is, I al I always want to be in between his Zerglings and the ramp. Because in this case, I really don't want him to get up my main base ramp. What I want to do is, I want to get both queens on the ramp. That's my main objective. And until this point, I'm going to be very conservative with my my link positioning. So see, the first thing I, I do is go here. So he can't get up my main, main ramp. That's the first thing. And then... Yeah, it's just, you just have enough. As soon as you pull so many drones, you just have enough to win the fight. And now he can't get up my main ramp anymore. So I'm already droning again. You can see he's still making Zerglings. Maybe I shouldn't be droning again because I already have more drones. But that's how safe I feel. Yeah, as as with the first speeding only one, all you need to do is fight inside your manual line so your drones can get good surface area and then you should be fine. And now my speed is almost done, that's why I pulled the queens away from the ramp. That's when you can inject again. Evolution complete. And yeah, now I have more than him. <clears throat> I would usually make another spine though. It, since he cancelled this one, now the next move for me would be to make one more spine, one more one more spine or one more queen. Either start a wall, start mining. For a baning this would be kind of late because he, he actually could have a follow-up baning all in. So the next thing you do is you scout with a couple of Zerglings, but overall if you compare, we have 7 more drones. He has 6 drones on the way, but we also have uh, 1 more queen on the way, we have 2 more drones on the way. Overall we're in a pretty good spot again. This hatchery is a bit low on, it, on HP, so I actually kind of like if I didn't inject here and save for 1 transfuse. But uh, since we have way more Zerglings than him, you can also just get 1 creep tumor here and then full, fully wall, which is possible on every single map in the map pool. I'm pretty sure with one creep tumor and three buildings, two queens, I think it's uh, it's it's possible to wall every map. Besides defender's landing, but we're not... Defender's landing is not really a map, so... 
we're just going to ignore that for a bit. So that's uh, that, that. Those were the main 1312s, the, the most common one, common played ones. And now there's one extra one because I found that on Odyssey, even though the rush distance is, is, is a bit further, um, I find one specific 1312 a bit hard to hold on Odyssey because on Odyssey you see the natural of your opponent very late. So there's there's just a two 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 things that I usually don't do, and I'm gonna show them now. <clears throat> so since your since your overlord arrives here so late, you can't see the zerglings in time. I'm gonna make the six zerglings again, and this time I'm gonna split them up. I'm gonna send four zerglings here, it's two scout for zerglings, two zerglings here, two scout for hidden zerglings. The good thing is, even even if if your opponent is just playing a macro game, you can use those zerglings really well because his overlord is not gonna be here on time to see your zerglings leave the base. Okay, so let's just imagine he would play a macro game. Let's see where his overlord is. Okay, so he couldn't see those zerglings leaving. So let's imagine he's gonna take a third base. We could cancel that with six hidden zerglings, or we could do that, do a, a Ling Bainolin with he he won't expect us having banes already on his side of the map, you know. So we could bank zerglings here, and then we could use those to make a Bainolin, something like that. But you can also just play this into a standard macro game. So what we do here is we find those zerglings. So far we don't speed speedlings wouldn't be here so early, by the way. You always send 10 at a time. So we kind of already know that it's a Bane Golem. Now, now it's 100% confirmed. Their reaction is Spine Crawler here. The Bane is a, a, a couple of guys too late, but this is a very important uh, positioning. So this Bane blocks everything that comes from here. This pool together with the Queen blocks everything that enters from here. Just keep that in mind. Now we can fight since he's morphing Bane over here. We can fight with Zerglings and Zerglings. Again, that's always a good fight. Why why am I not joining up with the two queens on the ramp on this map? It's because if he he's gonna have enough speedlings here to surround this one queen with the baning early enough that this queen won't get to the ramp if he plays it perfectly. I tried a couple of times and usually if I spawn here, this queen doesn't make it here in time. If I spawn here, because the the the, the, spin, the queen spawns on the bottom of the hatchery, this the queen from the main base doesn't make it to the ramp in time. So that's why on this map, on this and this is the only map. I, I can't join both queens together against this build. So what I do is I just put put this queen here to maybe waste some time. And what I do is I make a complete wall here with the spine here so my drones are safe. Also this is the first time of me trying it so I didn't do it perfectly but what I realized after is that I'm mining more gas than I need anyways. So what I do is I just let this uh, evolution chamber finish and make either plus one melee or plus one carapace with it. But yeah, he now sees that it's a full, full wall, he can't really do anything. Only only cancel those if his, if the bannings are out of position, because otherwise those are going to be low HP and the bannings might bust through. So as soon as I see his bannings go down there, I'm just going to cancel them and rebuild them. As I said before, I would just let this one finish though. And now I make a second queen. And as soon as I have bannings and two queens, he's going to kill this hatchery, take his own hatchery. And just note we're ahead in drones. As soon as, as, as uh, he kills our hatcher, we can just retake it with Banings and two Queens. We can put the Spine here. And uh, I would start one of the Evo Jumper upgrades. As I said before, this is the first time of me trying it, so I actually just cancelled the Evos all the time. We can just go quickly. I cancelled it a couple of times. I, so I, I lose some mining time with those drones, but I would just let this this evolution chamber finish. I realized then after, I'm mining too much gas anyways, might as well, you know, get an evolution chamber. But yeah, that's the that's the main point of the defense. We take your natural. I took it a bit late. Two queens and banings are really enough to trade really efficiently against Ling Bane, so you can just uh, retake it a bit earlier. But yeah, that's the that's the last 13-12 uh, games or replays that I want to show you guys. I just want to shout out Zanster. Uh, aka Anton Dahlstrom real quick because he did me a massive favor in just playing with this uh, playing a lot of games with me with 13-12 defense I also figured it out in custom games against him like maybe three weeks ago how to defend it properly uh, before we make Austin so that was a huge help and yeah you feel free to follow him also on twitch tv slash zanster 2 he is also starting to stream more and more and he's also always streaming with commentary so 
he's a cool he's a cool streamer to follow and yeah you can also of course follow me on on twitch if you guys aren't already at lambo king which is my twitch and yeah thanks so much for everyone supporting me in the last couple of days the last streaming days were awesome and maybe with the next sub goal we're gonna do another youtube video <laughs> see you see you until then